Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to Tac Team Portugal with Arumba. How's it going, Arumba? Pretty well. How's it going, Shen? Pretty nice. Uh, we are almost done sieging Jalray, working on Holland, and I'm bringing up a third army from our homeland to kill these British rebels. He got some peasants. Uh, how goes the invasion of Africa? Pretty well. I just realized that there's more land for us to occupy in uh, Holland. In Holland. So we're doing that. Okay. Uh, what's up in the new world? Oh, it's totally occupied. They've kicked everyone's ass. Well, there's still California to kill. Is there really? I thought that they were done with that. Nope. California's fighting right now against Oregon. Hmm. So you're saying the plan for the Caribbean is to take everything that's owned by Britain. So Jamaica, uh, Curacao, all that stuff. You want all that land. Yeah, whatever we can get would be great, just so that we have cleaner, prettier borders. I know how much people like that kind of stuff. What about South Georgia? Yeah, we need that. Okay. Uh, I There's... will free up some transports as soon as I'm done with the sieges up here, okay? Where, where's South Georgia? Um, down by the Falkland Islands, just a little bit east. Oh, God, it's, such an... it's Holland. I know, okay. yeah. Well, there's no <laughs> fort. You don't need to siege it. That's true, but it would be some um, war score. Maybe one. Barely. Maybe point one. one. Point, point one. one. <laughs> no, it would literally be worth point one. Have we decided mm -hmm. on the next idea group? Uh, we were talking about economic. We were also talking about administrative. administrative right. Um, I'm also still, I just, I absolutely adore humanist ideas. Although but, we took it, it's so late in the game now. That's that, the thing. Like, if I go humanist, it would always be like the first one. Just always. Still, I mean, there's just so much value in the uh, accepted culture threshold, years of separatism, better relations over time. Like, there's just so much good in it. Would you rather have that? Like, the, the main thing that Humanist does is it prevents rebels. That's the main mm -hmm. thing. Would you rather have that, or would you rather have cheaper coring costs from admin? I feel like it does two things. It, it prevents rebels, but it also prevents you from having to slow down. Because, like, okay, if you don't have admin, then yeah, you're probably usually limited by your coring ability. If you have humanist, then you're limit. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant to say. If you have humanist and no admin, you're limited by your ability to core stuff because you just don't have enough points. If you go the other way around, if you have admin but no humanist, usually you have way too many admin points, like, and you want to attack, but then you, your army gets so spread thin because you have so much land with so much revolt risk to deal with that you just can't. You just have to wait twenty years. You think? We have to have, have we had that rebellion. problem? I have in the past. I've tried, you know, like I remember when I did my, uh, I think it was the Ottomans World Conquest. Mm -hmm. Like It's just a pain in the ass. I, I, obviously with the Ottomans, you go admin ideas because you want to stack the core creation cost modifier. And you were having lots of rebel problems? It's not problem. It's just that you have huge portions of your army that you have to end up sitting around until rebellions fire. Gotcha. Even if you raise autonomy to try to force it, You've got 30 years then that you're dealing with rebels. Hmm. So you always feel like you're looking backwards. You know, you can't. It's like two steps forward, one step back type thing because you can't stop looking backwards. Well, do you see any value in any of the other any of the other groups like economic? Yeah, for the for the uh, lowered inflation. Besides that, I don't really think economic would help. Yeah, um, I don't. Religious. I, I don't see any value there. Like we don't have loans. We're never going to have loans. Monthly autonomy change, we're we're going to switch government types, which, by the way, we, we should do that right now if we're allowed to. Do we have 100? Yeah, we do. Go for it. So we're going to go from... Constitutional monarchy. The five years of separatism. So good. Now, constitutional, is that the one that gives us the uh, seats, the parliament seats? Oh, did they change it? Is that what that one does now? I think you're right. It'll turn us, you... like, into the British government. Yeah, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. I have not. I have not really played with parliaments yet, at, at all. I know that. Okay, in when the when the when it first came out, the patch first came out, it was fun at a small size, and then when you got really big, it became Tedious. cumbersome. Yeah. But I, I think that that was changed, and I think that now it's more scalable. I think we should try it. If Go you for haven't it. done it before. Go for it. Let's see what happens. Yep. All right. There's all the seats. Too few seats. We you need, need 17. 17. Okay. So pick the ones that have the most development. 
Yes, because what a parliamentary seat does... What? What does that say? It says seats, tech team. You see that? That's our capital. Oh, okay. G Gibraltar was, like, was renamed a tech team. <laughs> I was like, how did the game know we're doing tech team? Um, so... <laughs> It's like Wiz, okay. is, Wiz is watching uh -huh. over your shoulder. <laughs> okay, so here are the benefits to giving a seat, uh, some uh, a province a seat in Parliament. They get 10% local production efficiency, 10% local tax modifier, 10% local manpower modifier, and 1.01 .01 local monthly autonomy change. Negative or positive? Negative. Oh. Every month it goes down a little bit. Okay. So you can also do it in recently conquested territory if you want to try to really min-max well, the decay, decay I haven't. Rate. I haven't really played with it, but... Um, People in Twitch chat have told me that if you give every single province in your nation a seat in Parliament, it just gives you overall benefits, and you just never have to do any of the parliamentary debates. Just ignore them entirely, and you'll still get all the bonuses in every province. But you'll never have any prestige. Who cares? I mean, if you have enough prestige gain, because that's the thing. Like, if you if you don't, either you don't do the debates, in which case you always have negative 0.5 legitimacy per year, which we can actually totally tank. We can tank that easily. Look at our, our legitimacy right now. Yeah, that's Even pretty crazy. That, that's we're going pretty crazy. <laughs> so we don't really care about that. But um, the other thing is that, uh, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, if you don't, if you fail a debate because you ignore all of the seats, then you end up with a negative 20 prestige loss every 10 years or every 20 years or whatever it is. That's not I think that bad at all. It. That's like Let's, nothing. Let's add every seat to Parliament. It sounds great. All right, I'll let you do that. <laughs> oh no, I get Papas for each one. Oh god, okay. I'll do, I'll do the wins up here in Britain. Yeah, is there any is there any penalty for adding a seat? Does uh, it does it make Well, okay, let's stop for a moment and then go look at the so down by like the uh the Holy Roman Empire button. You have a new one, Parliament, right? Yeah. So right now we have 24 seats, and when you go to start debate, uh, well, it looks like we have to wait one month. There are no eligible debates. Okay. Well, let, let's let's relax for a second, and <laughs> let's wait till there's an eligible debate to try, and then we'll decide if we want to actually keep doing that. Is there a seat map mode? I don't think so. But, yeah, if we can add every single seat, then it's just 10% to everything. That's pretty solid. Does sound pretty solid. In addition to the negative five years of separatism and the 0.2 autonomy change and the other thing, Yearly legitimacy plus one. Counter Reformation ends. Oh, hold on one second. So we have a modifier, Counter Reformation. What does it do for us? It gives us two extra missionaries, 5% more expensive technology, 0.5 papal influence per year, missionary strength versus heretics plus three, and then 5% more expensive ideas. And it's gone. We're going to lose the two extra missionaries. Does that really matter? We're not even using them. No, why Why did it go away, though? It says the Counter-Reformation has served its purpose, but the era of religious strife in Europe is over. Oh, okay. Goodbye. And the button says, time to move on. Okay. Okay. So here are our eligible debates. You can you can read them yourself if you'd like, but... Um, what are you doing? What's going on? Why, pause it. Ah! Administrative reform. For the next 10 years, monthly autonomy change minus 0 0.05. We can try to increase base tax in in one province. And for the next 10 years, we have build costs reduced by 5%. We try to expand the army, reducing our recruitment time and regiment costs by 10%. Or issue letters of mark. Light ships get cheaper, privateers get better. Or conduct nationwide census to increase base manpower by one in one province. But then we also get National Manpower Modifier plus 5% for 10 years. They sound pretty underwhelming. Yeah, they're all quite, kind of crap. It makes a lot more sense when you start the game out in your England and you're like, oh, I can get an extra base tax for free. That's, that's pretty good. But when you're the size we are right now, it does seem very underwhelming. Build cost means nothing because we have tons of money. Mm -hmm. Autonomy might matter. But we also have expanded a lot outside of Europe. So we are running into a, an autonomy floor anyway. Yep. I'd probably say the one that would benefit us the most is the manpower one because of the 5% manpower modifier. That sounds good to me. All right. So now, have you have you actually looked at this interface before? No. Uh, let me click on it. So we're looking at, okay, gain one base tax in Saria, 
and for the next 10 years, national manpower plus 5%. Now, this is only after the debate is done, right? Yes, so we and have 25 seats right now, and then this is the, the risk in having too many seats. Look at every single one of these things. Mm -hmm. You have to pay points, like 16 military power to get Galicia to support our reform. And this is where if we fail, if we don't succeed in this debate, we lose 20 prestige. But it's, it, seems, it seems silly that you have to spend monarch points to do this, and then the benefit is you get a, a free base tax, which is monarch points. You could have gotten that base tax for a lot less than it would take to bribe all these guys. Mm -hmm. So what's the See, point? I, I'm leaning toward, okay, like, okay, we put all of this effort in and spend all of these points or ducats or you can see in there, you can spend army tradition, navy tradition, you can spend your mercantilism. Like things you would never want to do. Um, and what's, what's the end result? One base tax and 5% national manpower modifier. Or we could just make every single seat in the, every single province into a seat and then we get 10% national tech modifier. 10% taxes, 10% production efficiency, and 10% manpower. And every now and then we lose some prestige. Who cares? No, we don't actually. Because if we just, just ignore the, the parliamentary debate system, just never do it. The only drawback is it will have negative 0.5 legitimacy per year. Oh, so we don't even lose the prestige. But the government type itself provides you with one. <laughs> notice, notice the legitimacy thing. It's so no it debate in parliament. It completely cancels it. Wow. So just let's just make every yeah let's do it. Make every single seat into a everything into a seat and then just ignore it. It just that seems very exploitative, but like obvious to anyone that knows how to do math. Unless I'm missing something. Well, did you pop it into Excel yet? No, but we can. Would you rather do that? I think you could spend an entire episode on Excel just for that. Where where are you doing them? Uh, the islands. And now Morocco. Every now and then I accidentally click on the name of a seat. Yep, I've done that. And it's like, I can't hit enter now. You mean the Seeky? No, no Seeky. God. A friend of mine had, uh, he was a breeder of Siamese cats. And like he actually had paperwork for all of them for pedigrees and stuff. And one of the cats he had was incredibly dumb and really cross-eyed. And the cat actually was eating just a lot of things that he shouldn't eat. And one of the things he ate was the keys off of his keyboard. So he was ripping them up with his claws and then eating the keys off the keyboard. It's just how dumb the cat is. And uh, one of the keys that they, they couldn't get back was the D key. Like he ate it and swallowed the whole damn thing. So that became his name, D key. Good story, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to disable this pop-up. When a province has been granted a seat, I obviously don't need pop-ups for this. Dealing with all of your pop-ups is frustrating. Yeah, I turned them off too. Okay, so you've got the rest of Portugal over there. Um, yeah, pretty much see. all of Spain is done. I'm taking care of, I'm moving into France now. <laughs> you get a seat, and you get a seat. Everyone gets a seat. You're damn right. All right, I think that's everything. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot Constantinople. There we go. Done. Okay. And <laughs> what about, can we do that in Africa? Did you already do all of Africa? We can't. Distant Why overseas. Not? Distant overseas. You can't overseas even. Overseas cannot be represented. Whatever. They can totally be represented in parliament. We can't even do it in Ifni, which is right next to Agadir. We can do it in everywhere in Morocco, but but not Ifni. Okay, so we have 89 seats. <laughs> you want to spend you want to spend 421 ducats to bribe one seat to uh i'm gonna unpause now <laughs> yeah. still now you look at our manpower modifier and it's probably just gone up tremendously because every province has more manpower it doesn't show up yet it still says 155 i think at the end of the month it'll show it says 160 61 there's two numbers oh 161 you're right it didn't did you ever notice up. did you ever no it did it, it there's two numbers there's the number at the top like hover over manpower it says maximum is 161k. Right. Last month it said maximum is 155k. And then like three lines down it says the maximum manpower of 161k depends upon. Those two numbers will be different if your manpower increases. The first one won't update. The second one updates instantaneously. Oh, why I it's gotcha. on there Why it's on there twice? No clue. There's no reason for it. Same reason why there's two different uh, 
two different piece deal uh, information that you can find for how much to, how much dipple points it'll cost you. One from the actual piece window and one from the uh, negotiation window. Jen, don't, don't get me started. Completely different. Don't get me started. Are you trying to anger me? Are you trying to make me upset? I don't have to even try. It's easy. Why are you losing battles? Um, I don't know. Whatever. Ottomans no longer rival France. Hmm. Okay, um, so ideas. Did we decide on humanist versus admin? I think I would go for admin. But that's just because it's so late in the game. Like, we, we if we were going to go humanist, I would have done that much earlier. Okay, but... If you think about it, each idea group at most, if you have base costs, is 400 points, 7 ideas. That's 2,800. So there are 8 idea groups, but in order to get the discount from humanists, you have to take the full humanist idea group first. So there's 7 potential idea groups that you could have a 10% discount on. Mm -hmm. So that's 2,800 points times 7 idea groups, and you could save 10% of that. So you're talking at most saving 1,960 Diplo, uh, 1,960 Monarch points. That's considerable. It is, but we can still save mm, 500 of them by taking that idea group. I don't know. Do you think you're going to save more points by taking administrative? Are you, are you going to save... 25 points over the course of the game? Well, it's, we're already pretty far into the game. That's true. It does stack additively with uh, administrative efficiency. That... It's another good factor to consider. Colonial border conflict. Ew. Either we piss off one colony or the other, or just lose 10 prestige. I'm okay with that. The prestige? Yeah. <laughs> well, prestige is important, though. Yeah. We'll be fine. We'll get prestige out of this peace deal, won't we? I hope so. What is the peace deal, by the way? Are you going to negotiate separately with Holland? Well, that's what I was going to ask, is do you want to peace out separately? Because I think that'll cost us more Diplo. It's probably cheaper if we just declare on Britain and then peace Britain out entirely. Yeah, you mean do the peace deal just directly with him? Yes. Well, we have claims on most of the stuff that Holland owns in Africa. And yes, it's zero dip if we take those claims by negotiating with Great Britain. Well, that sounds like a good idea then. And just keep all this stuff in Holland sieged for now. I hate islands. <laughs> the truth oh, comes out. I we, hate we, islands. Uh, we do need to siege down Holland's uh, Georgia province if we actually want to take that. By all means. How would you feel about spending some Diplo points on this war? Meaning separate piecing? No, just spending it on provinces that aren't part of the war goal. Oh, I'm okay with that. Which provinces are you going for, thinking about? All of them. Remember how we were talking about how we didn't have enough Diplo points? Yes. Oh, sorry, we had, we had too many Diplo points? Too many. How would you like to get rid of almost all of them? I, I want to hear the idea first. You're talking about separate piecing Holland now. No, no, I've, I've got a piece deal for 76% that they'll agree to right now. It costs 477 Diplo. What is it about? Um, it takes pretty much every every island that we can and then a whole bunch of the colonies. Nothing on Great Britain. Takes all of the African holdings, takes all of the islands in Africa, takes all of the islands that we can get in Asia. And then almost all of the rest of it is just spent in uh, the New World. So that gives us everything we were talking about from Britain? Everything we were talking about being what? All the islands and stuff? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing on nothing in Great Britain. Mm, do you think we should... Does, what's the peace deal cost? <laughs> war score or, or Diplo? Both. 477 Diplo. 77 war score. 77 war square. Would they agree to giving us like one province in Britain? Like Gloucestershire, which is the one we declared for? 
Just thinking, because we're going to lose this claim as soon as the war's over. We might as well take it. We can take Derbyshire and Gloucestershire. I think we lost our... No, we still have our claim on Derby. All right. That's a 90% peace deal. If we wanted to go to 99, we, we could fit it in. We could take marches as well. But we'd have to get more war score. I think we should just take the peace right now. We have a 90% peace deal on the table. Okay. I am okay with this. Okay, say goodbye to our dip. <laughs> Wait, what? It lied. It only spent half as much. I'm not complaining. I'm I'm not gonna I am gonna complain. God damn it. <laughs> Stupid fucking interface. It drives me nuts. I usually don't swear. I've gotten so angry over the last couple of years <laughs> playing this game. It's it, always lying. I think it, you know what it is? It's because you've been playing Eve Online. No, I basically stopped playing that game. Really? But you made yeah. a big alliance and everything. Yeah, that was kind of fun and cool, but. All right. Uh, Don't forget seats of parliament. <laughs> we got to core them first. No. Give them seats. We're going to forget now. No, you're going to okay. forget. No, it, it's a good that we're recording a bunch of episodes today because we're not we're not nearly done with them yet. This is only the, what episode three, so we'll have yeah. tons of time to remember to do stuff, and then next week we'll forget everything. Yes, this is <laughs> definitely going to happen. So I like this. We're at peace, and our autonomy comes down by 0. 0.31 per month because of the seats in parliament, government rank, and peace. It's not bad at all. It's pretty quick. Okay, by all means, let's, uh, let's take a break here, I suppose. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I've been Shen. He's been Arumba. We'll see you next time. Tomorrow. See you soon.